so I'm continuing to work here on my car computer. It's a, a car computer that I've mounted in the trunk of my car to play music. And a lot of people that are, that are doing this kind of project, you're running into the same kind of problem that I've been running into, especially if you're using a laptop. And that problem is that there's no automatic reboot when uh, the computer gains power. There's no BIOS setting in, in most laptops. So what I've had to do is uh, get a docking station for this IBM ThinkPad. And there's an external power button with a, a tactile switch that clicks that the ThinkPad doesn't have. I used a PIC microcontroller connected to the uh, power switch. If you can see that there. And basically it's just a three wire connection that I've soldered on power ground and uh, just a pin to manipulate the switch. And all it does is connect the switch to ground for one second and then uh, go low and then high. And it's basically imitating the power switch. So I'll just show you how it works. So basically I just plug in the car computer. There you see. So what I noticed with the docking station is that there's a 5 volt power source uh, tied to one of the LEDs that's present only when the AC is plugged in to the docking station. So I use that as the trigger input to start up the program. So basically that 5 volts converts to 3.3 which powers the PIC and when the PIC turns on the program executes. And so pin RA5 is just a generic input output on the PIC which I've set to an output and that's tied to pin 1 on the switch, the power switch on the docking station. So basically there's a little waveform in the diagram there where you see it, it starts as high, then it goes low for one second, then it goes high again. And so when RA5 goes low, the power pin is shorted to ground through R1. So it's basically simulating a power button press.